car engine sounds or how the horn sounds so he'll imagines he imagines or he visualizes he 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 doesn't see doesn't sees he doesn't see things much but he hear things so uh, the third modality is kinesthetic that is the person will feel things and like i said the person who is visual who is more prominent whose visual capability is more prominent he will speak at a faster rate the person who is uh, more auditory will speak at a slower rate and the person who feels he will speak at a much much at a very slow rate and the language of all the three different type of people will also be different the person who is visually oriented he will say things like i see it i get the picture the person who is auditory oriented he will say sentences like i can hear you that sounds good to me and the person who is kinesthetic who feel things he will always use that i for me i feel it's okay <clears throat> so the technique is this is basically done when i train olympic athletes one on one so this technique can be used to reprogram their minds so if the person is auditory uh, the person is visual then you match your rate of uh, speech according to the uh, person's rate of speech like the person who is visual will be speaking at a faster rate so you also speak at a faster rate and you match his language with your language like you said hope you uh, hope you are seeing the picture is it clear to you so this is the language is that is supposed to be used to the person who is visually more uh, prominent and next is the person who is auditory so you match the uh, speech rate you lower your speech rate with this person and you talk in uh, terms of auditory signals like do you how does it how does it sound to you did you hear it properly so these are this is the type of language you use with the auditory person and the third is the person who is kinesthetic he feels things so he will he will also have the uh, his language will be i feel it i feel it's okay so for that person you match the speech rate uh, in the same way as you uh, reduce your rate of speech to match the person who is kinesthetic and you ask him questions like how does it feel to you do you feel okay so this is the way you can uh, uh, you can get uh, uh, the person uh, you can build a rapport with the person and then once you have like i have a, i'm training a, a shooter for olympics uh, he is more on as him which is uh, more prominent with you he said that i get motivated when i hear a song of a movie called lakshya so his auditory thing is important so whenever i have to give give him an input i don't say that you see yourself getting the medal i say you hear when you get the medal people are clapping at you people are cheering you so he is motivated and more on the auditory uh, more on hearing more on auditory mode so what for getting into peak performances suppose the person is uh, you find an one one of these traits either the person can be more auditory or he can be more visual or he can be more kinesthetic so then you have to see how strong is this suppose he is only operating at 60% uh um, you can approximate it that the person is at 60% auditory and 20% visual or 20% kinesthetic so he can increase his auditory to you can ask him to focus more on whatever he is listening like i asked this uh, shooter of mine uh, what do you uh, in the song what do you hear do you hear the music or do you hear the words he said that i don't even bother about the words i hear the music the music motivates me and it has been seen that uh, uh that if you if you ask him you pay much more attention to the music now just uh increase your uh, the reception of the music increase your attention on the music so you get the person to uh, to a peak suppose you are operating at 60 you can get into 70 to 80 and then you can ask him what is the next thing that you after you hear the music what happens then he says that after i hear the music i see myself uh, as the range shooting 
so then you start increasing the uh, once you have increased the visual or the auditory part then you can ask the person to increase his visual perception whatever he is seeing so whatever he sees you ask him to see more in detail so this way you can get the person to a peak performance level so by using IVR and this uh, NLP you can get a person on uh, on a peak performance level